Tueli Lemsweli is a lecturer and budding author whose book is a reminder that you're not defined by your past. Well, she rewrites a story in a tell-all book titled From Ashes to Beauty and creates a new chapter in life filled with love, respect and happiness. The book is about taking small steps every day towards healing and self-discovery and to understand how the beauty emerges from the ashes of the past. Well, she's in studio with us to tell us more. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Live Such live. an interesting title. Tell us a little bit about how you came up with the concept of writing this book. Um, I went through a horrible divorce. Mm. Um, well, I would say for 10 years, mm -hmm. I tried to escape this marriage by the fifth year while I was pregnant. Mm. And obviously, as... A typical black woman, I was told, no, I don't know what they say in English, but in Zulu we say, but we are Maliswa. Yeah. You, th th this is not a problem. So I stayed. Mm. The next time around, I didn't tell anyone. I just filed for divorce and went through with it. So coming up with the title, I figured this is a house, this is a home. For me to be able to start over, mm. I need to set this marriage on fire. So came the title from ashes to beauty because after my divorce my life changed the i could i cannot even recognize the woman i used to be yeah yeah uh, but at what point did you say you know my ordeal needs to be on paper somewhere you know so many women go through this yeah but no, not many of them will say but i need to write it down and put it in a book uh, because i realized that my journey was unique mm -hmm. a journey of a black woman going through divorce is not like any other. Remember, when we get married, some animals die, and there's an exchange of yes. currency and all of that. So you are held back by religion. You are held back by culture. In the Zulu culture, for example, we didn't have a noun for divorce because mm. it did not exist at all. So when I went through my divorce, I was looking for a book like this. And I couldn't find it. Mm. So I decided, well, I can't be the only person going through this, right? Yeah. So let's do this. Let me put this on paper. I didn't even have aspirations of making money out of it. I just thought, let me share my journey. Maybe somebody else will need it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But who then guided you to say, you know, this is how you do it. This is how you write a book. And, you know, this is what you include. This is what you... I mean, you took a chance. I, I, I just went on it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even have a mentor doing it. Mm -hmm. It was just from sheer instinct. And this book gave birth to another book as well. Because at some point, people came back and they're like, okay, you taught us how to get out of there, but now we don't know how to continue from yeah. there. So <laughs> what do you do? What, what now? What did you do mm -hmm. for you to be the way that you are now compared to what you used to be? Mm -hmm. So... We, it was instinct, it was instinct mixed with grace. Yeah. That's all I can say. So what is in there? What is in this book? In this book, there is the journey from the beginning. From the time my father was holding my hand, mm -hmm. walking me out of the house, to the time when I got myself out of the marriage. You will find um, there is a part where I also write about the role of women in keeping other women in abusive marriages. Mm. Because we do have a role. And until we acknowledge that, and also we acknowledge our part in inflicting abuse on other women within the marriage. Mm. You know the whole story of the monster in law, yeah. right? And the story of the sisterhood. Because when you go through a divorce, you lose friends, mm. you lose family members. People don't like it when you, when you go against the norm because the, the, the narrative is that marriage is supposed to be difficult. So why are you being a wimp about this, mm. right? Mm. And how dare you? How dare you? Yeah. You don't get to leave. We are all in this. Mm. And then there's also a step-by-step -step guide on the things you need to take into account. It's, it's not a full account, but things like how do you arrange your finances to get out of a marriage? What to expect? Because you spend so much time getting married. You know like how your, your wedding vows are like five minutes? Yes. That moment when your marriage is being dissolved and that hammer 
is is hitting the, the cutlass is hitting the table it's so unceremonious it literally takes the wind out of you because 10 years of your life mm. just ended in bam bam it's over and that's it that's it what's been the biggest compliment you got about the book the Auth best one yet the best one yet is authenticity mm. All right, you know what, I, I wish we had more time, but we don't. <laughs> Twilithe, congratulations on the book. Thank you so much uh, for coming through. Twilithe Mswele about her book, From Ashes to Beauty, inspired by her life experiences to encourage women who have been uh, through similar struggles.